We had in Senate estimates last year, Malcolm Roberts asked the CSIRO, can you please give me a few scientific papers that prove human emissions of carbon dioxide drive global warming? And the CSIRO presented him with one scientific paper, and then it wasn't on the subject. So he asked them again, can you please show me that human emissions of carbon dioxide drive global warming? Now, that's a trick question. We'll come to that. They couldn't. This is a question that I've been asking scientists around the world for 25 years. I've asked journalists this question. I've asked politicians this question. It's no wonder I get cancelled because no one can show from the scientific literature that human emissions of carbon dioxide drive global warming. Now, let's, let's imagine that I'm wrong. And once I was wrong, but I was mistaken. But let's imagine I was wrong. And we say, OK, <coughs> human emissions do drive global warming. Well, the total human emissions are 3% of the total emissions that we get on planet Earth. So if you can show that 3% of emissions drive global warming, you have to show that the 97% of natural emissions, which come from ocean degassing, don't drive global warming. That's never been shown. So we have built this whole empire based on something that cannot be shown. And in fact, you can show the opposite. The whole move with human-induced global warming has got nothing to do with the environment. It's got everything to do with deconstruction of the way we think and our society as a mechanism of unelected people gaining power. And I'm sick of it. And that's why I wrote this book, Green Murder. It's a full frontal attack on those who are leading the charge.